सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम स्टैटिस्टिक्स विच आर नीडेड फॉर डेटा साइंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग स्टडी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो आई हैव डिवाइडेड दो टॉपिक्स इन टू फोर डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज सो विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक टर्मिनोलॉजी देन विल अंडरस्टैंड लाइक वॉट आर द टॉपिक्स अंडर डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टैटिस्टिक्स देन इन्फ्रेंसियल स्टैटिस्टिक्स देन ऑल्सो फ्रॉम द प्रोबलिटी थ्योरी सो लेट सी so when you uh, say about uh, like basic terminology so uh, inside basic terminology we study like what is statistics and we try to understand like uh, why we need statistics and what role statistics plays in data science and machine learning study and then of course uh, another important terminology comes like uh, what is the difference between population and uh, sample so this is this i would say the main building block of the complete data science study so everything is based on this population and sample so this will see and then uh, next is like a census or a survey then parameters and statistics and of course like uh, the data and variables so here again we study like uh, what are uh, different variables and data uh, like uh, so here again uh, we see like uh, what is data and what are the different variables under that so here for example we have uh, independent variable and dependent variable or i would say like predictors and target variable so all sort of that analysis uh, or so all sort of those uh, concepts related to data and variable we study under this section and then we have a uh, types of statistics so this is derived again from the population and samples as i said so this population versus sample is the main basic building block of this uh, data science study so that's where like uh, types of studies are coming from population and sample so there are two important types of study, uh, statistics like descriptive statistics and inferential statistics and uh, this uh, is all about basic terminology and then we go uh, on the descriptive statistics so what descriptive statistics all about that we will study under this section so it is nothing but uh, describing your sample data through statistical measures and plots and then various topics under uh, descriptive statistics are starting from measures of central tendency that's where uh, we cover uh, mean median mode and then it comes to uh, measures of variability and spread so under vari variability and spread we study like what is variance and what is standard deviation and then absolute deviation mean absolute deviation min max range outliers quartiles interquartile range and then standard score or z score so standard score or z score is used to identify the outliers and of course like uh, we have min max then uh, min max is used to calculate the range and then what is the variance and standard deviation so these all are the topics under comes under uh, measures of variability and spread so we'll study each one uh, one by one uh, in the further lectures so yeah so next topic under statistics comes like uh, plots and graphs so here i have listed the important plots you should know basically so like the first one is very important one like histogram then bar chart and its variant like uh, stacked bar chart or side by side bar chart and then we have a scatter plot and the line chart box plot so for example box plot is used to do the outlier analysis and then scatter plot also for the like uh, to understand is there any linear relationship or not so all those uh, uh, understanding we develop with the help of this plots and graphs so this is also a important topic under descriptive uh, statistics and then it comes to like uh, data distribution so for example uh, how your data is distributed is normal distributed is skewed or uh, if there is any kurtosis uh, so these things we study and then uh, last but not the least is like central limit theorem under descriptive statistics so this also uh, so central limit theorem is nothing but the it gives you the idea of the like when we have a dif uh, different samples available and then uh, there is a mean for associated with respect to each sample then uh, we try to understand like the sampling distribution of those means so that's what we understand uh, here uh, and in central limit theorem and uh, then expectation and variance of sampling means so these uh, topics will be uh, covered under central limit theorem so uh, more or less uh, these all topics belongs to descriptive statistics and then comes the, like uh, the next uh, uh, vertical like probability theory so under probability theory uh, what you study so before uh, describing the topic like why it is important so uh, in machine learning or data science we talk about predictive modeling so the way to predictive modeling goes via probability theory so that's where once you are uh, completed with the descriptive statistics you need to also uh, understand what is probability theory and important concepts under probability theory so what are the topics like uh, probability definition uh, probability versus statistics and then sample space uh, and event so so see guys these are uh, very uh, like basic topics but we uh, have very high impact so uh, when you are uh, entering into data science world then you should be familiar not only familiar you should understand you should feel about this terminology okay so that's where these are important and then we study like independent versus dependent events 
then again like uh, some types of probability like starting on joint probability union probability marginal probability and then we jump to the conditional probability that is very important so like jump conditional probability and bayes theorem so there are a lot of machine learning algorithm directly built on top of conditional probability and bayes theorem so if you have this uh, clear understanding of uh, how conditional probability works then you can understand um, those machine learning algorithm very well then of course we will try to uh, solve some problem here so the very uh, famous example like uh, problem is like a monte hall problem so uh, this is very a uh, famous interview question as well so we'll cover a lot of problems here and then uh, we have random variables uh, discrete versus continuous variable probability mass function probability density function so here like uh, this is again uh, with, with respect to like how you distributed your data is uh, based on that we have uh, pmf and pdf so that is probability mass function and probability density function and then we have expectation and then other some common distribution like bernoulli distribution geometric binomial poisson exponential distribution so each one uh, topic you need to understand and then uh, uh, comes like normal and gaussian distribution again so these are the important topic you should cover uh, you should understand under probability theory so now we uh, we uh, like uh, we cover a basic terminology descriptive statistics uh, probability theory and what next next is like uh, inferential statistics so let's see what are the topics comes under inferential statistics so inferential under inferential statistics what do you do basically it is all about generalization so under descriptive statistics we describe your sample data and whatever conclusion we draw for uh, the same sample data if you, uh, in inferential statistics we try to generalize those uh, uh, results about your population so that's why descriptive is all about your uh, sample data and inferential is all about your predicting something about your population so let's see what are the topics under inferential statistics so we start with the uh, confidence uh, labels confidence intervals like uh, uh, many times you see like uh, uh, suppose we are predicting something right so we should be uh, uh, we should have certain level of confidence when predicting something so that's where uh, is covered if by confidence level or confidence interval like how much confidence you are when you say okay uh, this is the prediction so uh, this uh, kind of analysis or understanding we develop under uh, this uh, these two topics and then we have a standard error and margin of error like uh, how much uh, error uh, or what is the margin of error in your results like that right and then uh, next important topics comes like uh, hypothesis testing so it tries to validate the claims so whenever you claim something so what what is like how to validate that one so under hypothesis again we have two types of hypothesis like null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis and then we have significance level critical reason p value q value one tail test two tail test and type one error and type two error so a lot of interview questions also um, framed from these topics okay like what is p value what is understand what is what do you understand by critical values all those things okay then next uh, comes like uh, some common test so how to validate those uh, whether null hypothesis is valid or whether uh, alternate hypothesis is valid so those validation you do with certain kind of test and uh, those are like nothing but z test t test chi square test and f test and these are also like a hel very helpful statistical measurements like when you go uh, in machine learning deployment and that's where you observe the model drift so that's where also like uh, these kind of tests are helpful like uh, for example chi square test okay so this helps to uh, analyze uh, the model drift so that advanced concept will cover in later stages okay so and then it comes like analysis of variance so uh, that's known as anova very famously so one way anova and two way anova so this is again like when you want to uh, try to compare the uh, um, like uh, mango with apple so there are these are two different fruits so you can in general you can compare mango with mango in terms of sweetness or taste you can compare apple with apple right but uh, when it comes to compare mango with apple so what i am trying to say is when you want to uh, compare two different objects two different identity uh, entity that's where like analysis of various comes in place for example you are Uh, de uh, developing a uh, uh, analysis or predictive modeling uh, on different projects and two uh, these two projects be all together uh, not same right so how to bring them on the same page so that you can you can have sort of some sort of comparison so that's where like analysis of variance is very helpful so these are the uh, important topics we study under inferential statistics so now what else so we covered a uh, basic terminology descriptive statistics then probability theory and inferential statistics what else so uh, like uh, these are uh, all important topics but uh, there is something more like uh, mathematics so under that uh, if you are uh, like uh, i would not say like this is a must but yeah uh, if you want to go further on research level then linear algebra and derivative calculus mainly is very important so that helps you like when um, we want to understand like how uh, algorithm works inside machine learning so that's where like derivative calculus and linear algebra these concepts are very helpful okay so once you are done with these uh, uh, important topics then i would suggest okay if you have time then you should uh, brush up your concept of linear algebra and calculus as well 
okay so these are the important topics guys but these are not uh, only so uh, like uh, uh, in statistical analysis some people cover like uh, a regression concept a time series analysis as well okay but i have kept those topics uh, in machine learning um uh, like when uh, when i will be talking about uh, what are the topics for machine learning so that's where uh, in terms of predictive modeling i have kept a regression analysis and time series uh, analysis those two topics uh, mainly inside predictive, predictive modeling okay so it's up to you you can cover under statistical analysis or uh, inside predictive modeling it's up to you okay so those two topics i have not written here so uh, that that is the reason but yeah these are the important topics you need to cover uh, for your statistics so guys one more thing without a statistics your machine learning machine learning knowledge is not complete you cannot uh, be very sure when you are predicting something so to be sure uh, like uh, why machine learning is producing a particular results you need to be very good in uh, good in your statistical understanding okay guys so i hope uh, these are the uh, like uh, these topics will help you in your uh, statistical uh, preparation statistics preparation for data science so, uh, so that's it for today's video so um, yeah thank you